How do you feel about your country? We just had the 4th of July. Some people don't like their country very much. People like the singer Jill Scott. Oh, say, can you see? By the blood in the streets That this place doesn't smile On you colored child Okay, I think we get the point. It's bloody. The blood built this land, and the white people are evil, and the black people did all the good stuff, and they're always oppressed, and okay, whatever. Here is the attention you ordered, ma'am. Here you are. Do you want it? Here, can I or, give you some attention hors d'oeuvre and some, perhaps an attention digestif along with your meal and entree of attention? Well, she got it. No one had ever heard of this woman before, and now, now we've mentioned her name. There are plenty of people who agree with her, at least plenty of people who say that they agree with her. And this poses an existential threat to the Republic, as we talked about at the very top of the show today. We now need, in Texas school districts, we need children to present government-issued notarized birth certificates to join the school choir because social trust has broken down so much and common language has broken down so much and community has broken down so much. And this would be another example of this. Uh, Polybius has a good observation, the ancient Greek historian of Rome, who pointed out that democracy can persist only when there is reverence for the gods, only when there is serious, disciplined, limited behavior, only when there is respect for parents and elders. And we talk a lot about how, how democracy and republics are, are built for moral and religious people only. So there's your reverence for the gods. And we talk about how people need to be, be able to control themselves or government's going to come in and control them m- more heavy handedly. Sure, that's true. But we, don't, we don't talk enough about respect for elders and why you have to respect your elders. Uh, politically, that is. One, it's to have a stable society. Two, it's to preserve the basic unit of society, the basic political unit, which is the family. Uh, And three, because it's what connects society through the generations. The older generation cares for the younger generation. The younger generation owes reverence and respect for the older generation. If you hate your parents, you're going to hate your country because your country was built by your forefathers. A friend of mine, a very perspicacious friend of mine, I've used that word a lot recently. It keep, keeps coming to mind, maybe because of all these incisive visions that keep popping up. A friend said that all of liberalism can be boiled down to, F you, dad. That's, it. That's all you need to know. Forget John Locke, forget John Stuart Mill, John Rawls, a lot of Johns among the liberals. Throw all of their books out. It doesn't matter. All you need to know about liberalism is that it boils down to, F you, dad. And that's what you see. That's what this woman is yelling about here. The blood in the streets in this awful place because all of my forebears and forefathers were bad and I hate you, dad, and this is terrible. And this is the, the liberal view of history. The past was bad. The present is a crisis. The utopia is right around the corner, but we've, we've got to urgently pursue progress. And it, it rips up everything on which your society previously had relied. That's it. If you don't, if you got, if you got daddy issues, that's not just a personal problem. That's going to bleed over into a political problem as we see today. Right now, go to grillblazer.com slash Knowles. Thanks to our friends at Grill Blazer. Instant barbecue perfection is at the touch of your fingertips. Grill Blazer's grill guns are designed to do everything from expertly searing your meats to lighting charcoal grills, wood stoves, outdoor fireplaces, and just about anything you can think of where you would need high power fire to solve your problem. I may or may not have sparked up a stogie with a grill blazer gun. You may have seen that. Grill Blazers offers two types of grill guns. The Grill Gun Basic is a high power propane torch designed to light charcoal and wood grills and smokers. Burns up to 3,600 degrees. It's 30 inch flame is pretty much all you need a big bad torch to do. And then there's the sous vide gun. 
Shorter barrel, perfect for professional culinary kitchen uses from gently caramelizing brulee or other sugars and fruits to rapidly searing steaks outside on the grill. Warning, the grill gun will result in extreme grill envy from your neighbors. Right now, go get the grill gun from Grill Blazers. Go to grillblazer.com slash Knowles. Use promo code Knowles for 15% off your order. Grillblazer.com slash Knowles. Promo code Knowles for 15% off your order. Now, speaking of insulting your audience, as this woman has, Fox stock has been downgraded. Fox News, dominant name in cable news, has been downgraded after the viewership has continued to decline. Wells Fargo downgraded the Fox Corporation stock because Fox News' viewership has not rebounded since they fired Tucker, Tucker who was their biggest name and actually the biggest name in the history of cable news. In May, ratings for Fox took a nosedive because they kicked out Tucker. The network dropped from a 3 million viewer average to a 1.65 million viewer average in the 8 p.m. hour. It's almost 50% drop. And they, they haven't really rebounded. So Wells Fargo has deemed Fox Corporation underweight because Fox News drives so much of the profits of, of the Fox Corporation. And uh, now with ecosystem risks also elevated, Wells Fargo finds the estimate outlook more negative and below the street, below Wall Street. Okay. Fox might not be able to ride this one out. Previously, the corporate understanding of boycotts was that boycotts usually don't matter all that much. If they do matter at all, they're going to matter from the left because the left has the institutional power. And so if, if the libs call for a boycott, they'll probably cave at least to some degree and then everything will be fine. If the conservatives call for a boycott, it doesn't matter. Conservatives are not sufficiently organized. They don't have sufficient institutional power. So ride it out. You wait a week, Bud Light sales are going to increase again. Okay, you wait a week. The conservatives are upset that that the main conservative host left at Fox is gone. Okay, but whatever. In a week or two, they'll come back. They haven't come back. They haven't. Something has changed here. Two things have changed, actually. One, the, the, the political landscape has changed. There is a populist movement and there are greater platforms for populists to speak. And there has been a flattening of, of the public square, which the big tech platforms are doing their best to counteract by censoring conservatives. But then you see chinks in the armor. You see uh, a, an open-minded, if not conservative, at least non-leftist like Elon Musk. He buys Twitter. Conservatives get to speak again. You see people cutting cords and pulling out of traditional cable to begin with. You see conservatives recognizing that the uniparty establishment doesn't serve their interests, either in its Republican form or its Democrat form. So you're seeing alternatives pop up. People like Donald Trump taking over the Republican Party, even though Trump has no particular affinity or loyalty to the Republican Party. And then the other side of that is that the corporations, even the supposedly conservative ones, have become more liberal. Fox made an intentional choice to become more liberal, to fire its most prominent conservative host, to get rid of a lot of other conservatives on the platform, to blacklist conservatives from the platform, to to indulge in radical leftist ideologies, even in the very language that they use. And they, they just thought that they could get away with it. But there's just, sometimes you reach a bridge too far. And for, because we're still on YouTube right now, I'll speak uh, ambiguously. Back in the 90s, the social ideologies and movements they didn't push the conservatives too far. Conservatives didn't like it, but they didn't push it too far. In the 2000s, didn't totally push it too far. Even in the early part of the 20 teens, didn't push it too far. But they reached a point on some of the social stuff where a, a flip just switched. Or a, a switch just flipped. Or a switch switched, I don't know. And parents said, no more. And suburban voters said, no more. And cable news viewers said, no more. And beer drinkers said, no more. And the corporations are waiting for that bounce back. I hope they don't hold their breath. Boy, what a great clip that was. It was great. I know. I know. Well, if you want more of them and if you want long form interviews and if you want the yes or no game, if you want all the show and if you want everything, you got to ring the bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.